I'm kind of down on location here at the Las Vegas Strip at the Vidara Hotel, and I've been playing around with five second fix all morning. And I've been trying to figure out if this thing is really worth it or if it's just all hype. Now, I've seen all the other reviews that are out there, read all the comments. It really seems to be a big divide about whether five second fix actually works or not. I'm really trying to take all those comments and other reviews into consideration and see if I can come up with a comprehensive answer to whether five second fix really works or not. So the big question is, does five second fix actually work? That's what I'm trying to find out in my review of Five Second Fix. To use Five Second Fix, you take off this cap and you have that tip there and you'll squeeze this tube together to create a layer on the outside of where you want to weld uh, two things together. After you've put your five second fix in place, then you come here and you turn on this switch for the UV light. You hold it three to five millimeters away in place over the liquid and then it cures and then it's supposed to be fixed. It might work best on transparent or glass items because the light can penetrate it. I've seen a lot of people put two items together that are dark and they have the five second fix on the inside and they're expecting the light to penetrate it somehow. I don't know how they're gonna do that. So you really have to think of it more as a weld or a band-aid, not so much as a glue. That's the way it's supposed to be used. There are so many potential uses for five second fix that it would really be impossible for one person to be comprehensive in that respect. Everybody's gonna have their own idea of what it should be used for and it will work in some of those cases and it won't work in other cases. That's why you have such mixed reviews about five second fix.
So far, so good. So initially it holds up, but what happens when I put hot water in there? Because that's something that one reviewer had said that that was a problem. So let me try some hot water, let it sit, and then see how it goes. I'll let that sit for a bit, and we'll see if it's still holding water or after it's been holding hot water for a while. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's see how the Solo Cup is doing. Well, it looks like it is not leaking at all. I'd say that the Solo Cup test was a pass for five second fix. Not that it would necessarily be a long term fix, but short term, it worked pretty well. One nice feature about five second fix is that you can kind of get your items and liquid in place before you start curing it. Unlike glue, where you're kind of on the clock as soon as it comes out of the tube. You have about 15 seconds and then you're kind of stuck with whatever you got. The five second fix, you can kind of manipulate things in a place before you start curing it. And that's actually a good feature of it. I think, for example, this picture frame, uh, five second fix, did a pretty good job. Of course, super glue probably would have done a pretty good job too. With these two wooden sticks that I glued together with five second fix, it did a pretty good job. Super glue would do about the same. Now, with the spoon, this is the one that I did with five second fix, and this is the one I did with super glue. Now, if I were to put this spoon under a lot of tension, I have a feeling it would probably break. Let's check that out. As I was saying, I did repair this piece of jewelry with five second fix. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. So one of the problems that I'm having with five second fix is that it seems like it's there are certain situations where it's going to be useful. You may not know that going in, so it might take you a while to actually find uses for it where it does perform well. It also doesn't always perform better than a dollar store tube of super glue. Um, it might, but it might not, and you'll never really know until you actually try it. Also, sometimes things that are broken don't have an even uh, cut, you know, like this is just an example, but something like that, that's going to be hard to repair with super glue or with five second fix just because the surface is so jagged. It's going to be hard for it to really grab onto that. As far as repairing glasses goes, um, one of the problems that I have with five second fix is that it really requires three hands. Two of your hands to hold the item together and another hand to use the UV light to cure the five second fix. With super glue, you really can just apply it on one end and then use two hands to hold it together. So it's kind of difficult unless you have something to hold your item in place, which some people do. You might have a vise or some sort of thing like that, but just for around the home, repairs, it can be kind of cumbersome to use 5 second fix. I'll probably continue to use 5 second fix just because I paid for it. Once it's exhausted, I'll probably just stick with dollar store super glue because most people are going to use 5 second fix like glue. Even though I know that people say it's not glue, you're supposed to use it on the outside more like a weld or a band-aid, but that's how people are accustomed to attaching things together that are broken. They're used to glue and that's what most people are going to use it like. And in that case, it's not really superior to glue. As far as welding items together, it does work in some cases. So in the end, five second fix is kind of expensive and it doesn't always outperform inexpensive glue. Results are definitely going to vary and I'd like to hear what results you had with it, whether it was good or bad. And if you like this video, I would appreciate a subscribe so I can continue to bring you as seen on TV product reviews in the future. Until next time, this is James White with Frequent Reviews. Thank you.